Kerala's Sabrimala Temple is set to open its doors to all its devotees tomorrow. But the chaos surrounding it is far from over. Just today, the Travancore Devaswam Board, which runs the temple, held a meeting with the stakeholders of the temple to diffuse the implementation of the Supreme Court verdict, which lifted the ban on women of menstruating age from entering the temple. The hearing for Union Minister MJ Akbar's defamation case against Priya Ramani, one of the many women who have accused him of sexual harassment, has been pushed to 18th October. Akbar, in an earlier statement, had rubbished all the harassment claims against him. Responding to the defamation case, Priya Ramani said that this was Akbar's way of silencing his victims. Agreeing with her, her husband in a powerful blog said that the best way for her and all women to fight harassment was by having courage and by using truth as a weapon. In great news for the Me Too movement in the country, Yashraj Films today fired its talent and business head Ashish Patil after a woman came forth to share her chilling experience of being sexually harassed by Patil, who had approached her for a role and forced his way with her. Several other celebrities have also spoken about being sexually harassed when they were just starting out, including Huma Qureshi's brother Saqib Saleem, who had someone put his hands down his pants at 21. A man in pink pants was caught on video brandishing a gun on a couple after a heated argument in front of Hyatt Delhi, while staffers are seen intervening to break up the scary fight. It turns out that the man, an Ashish Pandey, is the son of former BSP MP Rakesh Pandey. Now, while Ashish drove off in his BMW after the incident, the video fortunately went viral, leading to a case under the Arms Act being registered against him. Meanwhile, Hyatt Regency put out a statement saying that the safety of the guests were the hotel's primary concern and that they were working closely with the local authorities on the incident. Are you saying Think you're visiting Allahabad anytime soon? Well, you can't anymore. Don't worry, the city is still there, but you'll now be visiting Prayagraj, the city's new name after the Uttar Pradesh government passed a resolution approving it to the same effect. So remember, you'll be visiting Allahabad. No, wait, Prayagraj. No, it's. Oh, this is going to take some getting used to. This is Sarah we decided to do something a little different. We decided to put together our very own ensemble Ram Leela cast. Now like any other production house, we had to hold auditions for the Sanskari Sita, for the Honorable Ram, for the Flying Hanuman, and of course, the monstrous Ravan. The experience was quite something. <laughs> My dear Sita, I have been searching for you, but I haven't been able to find you yet. Sita! Do you think you're updated with the latest news now? To stay updated, log in and subscribe to our website, The Quint.